Ah. Yeah, every every time I try to do this, it's new. Don't they know I'm old? It's confusing. They can't do that. Hey, everybody, welcome to another Salt Project Community Open Hour. I am the Salt Project Community Manager. My name is Jimmy Chunga. Thanks to all of you for taking the time to be here, whether you're live or whether you're watching uh, after the fact on YouTube. We're excited to have you with us. I have a pretty good, pretty good open hour set up for you today. I'm excited about it. Uh, yeah, open hour for August 15th, 2024. Let's do this. Uh, here's where you can find us. Uh, by the way, can everybody see my screen? Everybody can see it, right? We're good? Okay. Uh, YouTube, you can find us on YouTube, the Salt Project YouTube page. There's a ton of stuff there. Tutorials and, and uh, breakout sessions from past shows and past open hours and working group sessions and the whole thing. So YouTube, GitHub, Discord. Uh, Reddit, LinkedIn, the Hacks Podcast with Tom Hatch and, and yours truly, uh, X, Facebook, Instagram, we're, we're pretty much everywhere. Uh, so please go follow us on our socials if you haven't done so yet. Here's what's happening today. We've got uh, some updates. I'm going to beg you to join our Discord server because it's awesome. Uh, Derek is uh, is here, as I mentioned uh, just a few seconds ago. Derek Ardolf, he's a rock star, and I'm going to tell you why uh, here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, David Murphy. A, a champion photographer and a brilliant engineer. He hates it when I hype him up. So I, I make a I make a point to do that. By the way, Murph took that picture behind him on the background, by the way. He's, he's an amazing photographer. He's talking about the 3006.9 LTS release. And uh, we're excited about that. And then uh, and then also Deidre. Deirdre. Got it. Deirdre. Deirdre. <laughs> Deirdre. Deirdre. Thank you, Murph. A Thank good you. Irish name. Thank you. Yes, I was going to mention that, but I. <laughs> Wait a minute. In the movie Ronan, wasn't the 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 female character in Ronan? Wasn't she? Uh, her name was Deirdre. What's in the case, Deirdre? What's in the case? And there's also remember. a Monty Python skit from the seventies. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, it it wouldn't fly right now this era, but. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't going to bring up the movie. Well, there you go. Uh, sadly, it should be able to fly now, but uh, that's a different discussion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, okay, so uh, the My one that I... from Ireland, so... Okay, all right. Well, the the amazing human that I just previously referred to as Deirdre uh, <laughs> is uh, is here. She's here to talk about the salt user journey along with, uh, along with a couple of associates of hers, including... Elisa Rock, uh, yeah. former salt uh, docs expert. So, and then we'll take your, uh, we'll tell you, we'll take your questions as well. So let's uh, let's get right to it, shall we? Yeah. Uh, salt Project Community Open Hour has a new schedule. Open Hour every third Thursday, uh, every third Thursday every month. It happens. Uh, it happens at 10 a.m. Pacific time uh, and 11 a.m. Mountain time. Uh, 12. You, you can do the math as you work your way east. Our next community open hour will be on September 19th. So be sure to uh, make a note of that. And in the meantime, please join a Salt Project working group. Saltproject.io forward slash working groups. I should probably put a QR code in there so that you can get to that page easier. Just go to saltproject.io and uh, and we'll get you set up in a uh, in a working group that suits your fancy. We've got a bunch of them. Security, Windows, uh, yeah, extensions. There's a bunch of them in there and we need your help. You know, post acquisition Broadcom, we are now more community focused than ever and more community dependent than ever, quite frankly. So it is up to you, the members of the SALT project community to keep making SALT fantastic. Uh, and, uh, and speaking of the SALT project community, use this QR code, will you? Join our Discord server. We have people coming in every single day. We were on Slack for years and years. That has now changed, and we're on Discord. If you're looking for helpful hints, if you're looking for tips, uh, if you, uh, it's basically all things Salt. The uh, Salt Core team. We've got Dwas. We've got we've got Murph. Uh, you know, Felipe is in there all the time, uh, as is Derek. So we've we've got tons and tons of people in there to help you out. As is our dear friend Elisa Rock. Uh, who can help you as well. So uh, so sign up for the Discord server. I think I've spelled long enough for everybody to zap that code, right? Speaking of codes, we've got another one for you. So Derek, uh, you know, round of applause. Round of applause for Derek. He presented a DevOps day, DevOps days, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And I had the pleasure of watching Derek's presentation. It's a short presentation, just five minutes, but it's hilariously funny. 
and really highlights the talent of uh, folks that. Uh, oh no! What is going on? Something has happened. Can you hear me all still? Yes. Oh, good. Okay, I just got like fifty alerts that popped up on my computer for some reason, saying that my headphones were having issues. All right, we'll continue. Anyway, everybody's at that QR code and go watch Derek. Well, yeah, he's uh, he's amazing. His presentation, I dare say, is very funny, and uh, and I think you'll all enjoy it. And whenever we have a uh, a community member or a core team member do something that is uh, that is outstanding like this, I think it needs to be celebrated. So, well done, Derek. Uh, all right, the man of the hour, champion swordsman. He is a world class photographer, and his name is David Murphy. David, uh, we have uh, three thousand six point nine LTS. The release rundown. What's what's happened with this newest LTS release? So recently released uh, three thousand six point nine. It's got a number of bug fixes, but also. Some OS has reached end of life. Um, some surprised me even. They was unexpected. But CentOS Stream 8, end of life, I think was the 26th of June. Uh, CentOS 7 and Debian 10, end of life on the 30th of June, last day of June. And so we dropped support for them because while you might be able to go pay for security, we dropped support for OSs when no more security. Um, security fixes are freely available for open download. We added support for Ubuntu 24.04 and Fedora 40. Uh, that's Intel and ARM64. Most things are ARM64 supported at this point as well. Um, we switched over to building with Rocky Linux for C CICD packaging, et cetera. Previously, we used to build with CentOS and Alma Linux, and we made the switch to Rocky Linux because of the changes that Red Hat have done with not releasing their source code, et cetera. And we decided that Rocky Linux is the one that's most closely going to follow what Red Hat releases in their releases. Alma Linux, um, they've proposed some changes in their future that would kind of not be quite uh, bit for bit compatible with what Red Hat is doing. And CentOS, well, can't rely on CentOS. So for example, we now basically build with Rock and Package on Rocky Linux. So um, those worried about CentOS Stream 8 going away, we got Rocky Linux 8 that will solve that issue for you. And Rocky Linux 9, of course. Uh, internally, inside Salt, we upgraded to using Relenf. Um, 0 0.17.0, um, constantly upgrading it for better support. Uh, we fixed some um, support for some FIPS approved encryption and signing algorithms. Uh, we found that some things lied in the old classic days. And so we fixed that. Now that we're in the Wonder Director, we're able to um, make sure that those dependencies are the appropriate ones that do do full support. Yes, we upgraded some dependencies because um, they were upgraded because of security issues, things like MySQL, Docker, Ginger 2. Did I say Ginger? Yeah, Ginger. I, I keep messing up that name. Mm -hmm. And then there was a low level um, CDE where if uh, there was bad pillar data, we were returning defaults. And um, that was determined to be a minor um, security risk. And so what we do now is we fail with exit code if bad pillar data is encountered. And then there's a list of minor bug fixes. Uh, the complete list is in our uh, release topics and our docs um, for the complete list of all the changes, but most of the other changes are minor. These were the major changes that occurred in 3006.9. And that's it. All right, thank you, David Murphy. Excellent job. Uh, yeah, I, again, uh, applause for David Murphy. I know that the uh, software team is very busy. And so uh, Murph, I really appreciate you taking the time to do that and help us out, man. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, so next up, this oh, is, wow. uh, this is it's your turn. Oh, uh, I'm wow. very excited. <laughs> He's presenting for the very first time as a member of the SALT project community. <laughs> uh, she's also uh, some, brought some folks uh, here with us. So, it, it, Deirdre. Yes, Deirdre. Yes. I got it right. Thank oh, you. Deirdre thank you. French. 
<laughs> yeah. I'll take it away. If the time okay. is yours. The only minor correction is it's Eileen. Eileen's name always autocorrects to airline. Air oh, airline. Oh my gosh, I didn't Eileen. even notice. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> She's here today. Thank you so much, Eileen. <laughs> oh, man. See, I'm so sorry. Then. Oh, wow. I was expecting to be at the end of the hour. But um, anyway, so we are working together um, with Eileen and um, uh, Airline here, our new friend, Arlene, <laughs> Alyssa. Um, so yeah, so we are partnering and we'd like to create a user journey. And we're focusing on SALT users who are coming from a background of Ansible. And I mean, you can read these bullets, but what we would like your help is we have a survey and we'd like, if you are one of these people uh, new to SALT, or if you are a SALT expert who are aware of the common pitfalls of troubleshooting errors that new users to SALT experience have, we would love to hear from you too. It's about seven questions, eight questions. Um, and so, yeah, that's why we're here. We'd like to learn more about um, the Ansible to SALT journey and ultimately, I think all the notes are here. Um, yeah, so we're at the early stages of research and um, this is just one step to making that user journey. So um, if you are that person, please uh, hit that link. Does that link work, Shunga? Well, it, uh, it it probably doesn't, but if you copy and paste it, copy and, know, paste, copy it, and yeah. paste it, yeah, and we're from, gonna from put it in yeah. Discord on Friday. It's also in the, I also added it to the Slack or the Zoom chat right now. So. Yeah, oh, thanks, you, okay, thanks, Brian. Perfect, yeah. So um, as much information as you can give us, that would help our project. Um, and that is it. Uh, you're also Very welcome good. to chat with us on Discord to share your, your user experiences. Yes, absolutely. So the more information we can get about that transition to self, the better. Outstanding. Well, we've got a lot of, um, you know, we have this, uh, we have this little insight. We, we like to get kind of cheeky. We, we frequently say that salt does Ansible better than Ansible does Ansible. Oh, wow. And it right. really is true. It really is true. And so oh, we're good. We're, I we're hope we always, get lots of feedback. I hope so too. That would, uh, that would be very helpful. And thank you for the time that you and, and, uh, and, uh, and Alisa and airline are, are, are taking <laughs> to, uh, to, <laughs> to make this possible. Eileen, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I like, That's horrible. Now it's just going to stick. It's all good. Right? I can't get <laughs> yeah, it out of my head. It's going to stick. Uh, well, thank you for taking the time. And again, this is very helpful in us uh, developing our personas and, and who's using salt and for what purposes. And and uh, we are particularly interested. You're absolutely right. And people that are that are coming from the world of Ansible or using salt with Ansible. Yeah. Uh, I that's, mean, is that's there anything helpful. you want to add? No? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you to all three of you. Uh, and now we have reached our Q&A section. So we're, uh, we're smaller in numbers today, but um, now would be the time for you to, uh, to ask any questions you may have, especially if you've got some, uh, some questions for, for our guests here that are doing the, uh, the user personas. Um, let's start with Hunter. Since we haven't talked to you recently, Hunter, do you have anything for us? I have one minor one. Uh, I think think there's a ticket open for this one uh when you use salt call on i don't know what version this is i think this is 3006 uh we're getting a deprecation warning about oh god what was the module it just scrolled right off my screen yes util underscore compatibility yeah that one what he said there <laughs> uh, it is, is there already a... it's already removed um and merged into it'll be available in the next release 3006.10 um went back dug into the file went shit this is oops it's recorded um that's all right it's not the uh, first time Mark. <laughs> at least being irish the uh the expletives come quickly um but that uh, yeah <laughs> that that was a uh, um, file that should be removed when we dropped end of life support for Red Hat 6. It was basically adding uh, some compatibility features when PS Utils was less than 2.0, which is okay. long, long ago. So it's it's gone and it will I, I, be taken in care of. 10. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, for those of us that work for governments and have long upgrade cycles, uh, is there a config or something that I could tweak 
on the machines or hopefully just on the master to disable that deprecation warning? Not that I know of off the top of my head. Is the thing in the ticket safe where you just remove the module altogether? Um, yeah, you could remove the file altogether. It's not okay. really doing I'll anything. Okay, I'll probably do that. The other yeah. one that I had, I had two others. Um, one is uh, I understand that the the community is is the the core team is smaller now. What is the status of the push? to uh, get most of the modules out into extensions. Is that still ongoing or is it just slowed down or where is that? It's slowed down a bit because the size of the core team, but the push is ongoing. I've got uh, one myself for uh, and Cassandra. Um, so I have a salt extensions for Cassandra that I'm going to be pushing up and in, in. Uh, it's probably tomorrow I'll be going to the Salt Extensions um, membership to get that uploaded into the uh, repo. And Is stuff, there a so... central registry of Salt Extensions for the new ones that are moving in? Um, not so much, only in the Salt Extensions uh, repository itself, uh, the listing there. Okay. That's still ongoing work. Okay. Yeah, we salt do, extensions we, uh, org. Yeah. Salt extensions dot salt dash extensions or just salt no, extensions. No, it's a, it's a git it's a GitHub organization called Salt Extensions. Oh, oh, oh. I will look there. Uh, I'm just seeing if I can go through my books oh, and I'll, I, I'll post. I wanted to say this. Uh I know there's been some pushback about that in the community. Uh I I and my team completely understand the push into assault extensions, especially with a smaller uh, core team. And we support that effort. Uh, we just want to know where to go when we want to look for extensions. Yeah. Uh, the other one is, I don't know if anyone here has heard of it. Uh, it's kind of new. Uh, the guy that uh, created Swift, and uh, I think he had a hand in LLVM, is working on a new programming language called Mojo, uh, which is a hilarious name. Uh and while it's certainly not anywhere near prime time yet for something like Salt, one of the interesting things that it can do is compile Python. And when I say compile Python, I don't mean like Pi Oxidizer or Nutica or anything like that. I mean actually compile Python. I got a binary and it, it did not link to lib Python. Uh, and... Uh, when that becomes a little bit more fully cooked in a year or two, that might be an improved method of deployment for salt stack. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, also, it should be noted that uh, our dear friend Max Arnold has written a blog about we're, we're calling it the, uh, the uh, module migration. Uh, and that's right in line with some other things you were talking about there, Hunter. That blog will be uh, posted on our page on saltproject.io and uh, and on uh, Max Arnold's salttips.com page as well. So we'll make sure you Salt know tips that. Salt we'll Tips is it... excellent. He does a great job, doesn't he? He does yeah. a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah. No, that's excellent. Yeah. And Thank you, Melissa, by the way, for putting it. He's actually there. working on an accompanying video to go with it as well, working, walking you through yeah. extension. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And um, Nick Hughes is nominally the person to charge the salt extensions, but um, he's been busy with other stuff. And so Max Arnold and Jean-Luc have to, um, been assigned as co-maintainers for the salt extensions as well. So he's intimately involved in uh, making salt extensions work. Yeah, and the Excellent. blog is great. Very helpful. Very helpful. So uh, we'll make sure that you have access to that, Hunter. Um, okay, anything else, Hunter? Before Thank you, kindly. I, I have Thank one you thing. kindly. I have one sure. thing for Hunter since he says government. Um, the CVE, I should have mentioned when I'm talking about 3006.9, given the reduction in resources and stuff, um, given it was a minor C CVE, we're doing in rolling those into just a regular updates. If it was a critical or high level CVE, it would have its own security fix. 
but since that it was a Excellent. low level, we just rolled it in with the other um, fixes as that was the most quickest and most appropriate way to get it out of there. Yeah, we, we could have I, almost I gotten mean, over calling that a bug, right, Murph? I mean, it was pretty, pretty low level. Yeah, there was a lot of discussion as to whether it was really a CVE or not. And right. uh, it was determined by higher powers that it was an actual CVE. And so, but low level. Uh, I, I appreciate I that. And thank you for the patch. There I appreciate go. that. And thank you for the patch. Uh, thank you for everyone's time. Absolutely. Uh, anybody else today? Jace, Mark, anybody? We're going to have a short open hour today. An open half hour. Uh, anyone? Anyone? Going once? Going twice? Uh, thanks again to everyone who presented today at open hour. Uh, a pleasure having you here as always. Uh, and for those of you that are watching on YouTube, a uh, reminder to go check out softproject.io, join our Discord server, and uh, we've got a new blog coming out about the module migration that, uh, that Murph was just talking about. Shane, if you would, sir, play us out. My, my addiction to helium is out of control, but no one takes my cries for help seriously. That was that was uh, that was uh, almost a thinking man's joke there, Shane. Almost, almost. <laughs> Shane Lee, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, there you go. All right, we'll see you on August fifteenth. Thanks for everybody uh, showing up and uh, and contributing to this all project. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Oh, good.